Hi and hello all. Today we are going to discuss about the synthesis of camphor. This discussion is mainly based on the synthesis by John J. Ritter, which was published in Journal of American Chemical Society in 1933. Now the molecule, molecular structure of camphor is like this. And the molecular formula is C10H16O. Camphor is a terpenoid and a solid with a strong aroma and it is flammable. The synthesis starts from alpha pinene. This is the structure of alpha pinene. We can write it in a different style. Both molecules, molecular structures are same, equivalent. First step of the synthesis is to make boronyl chloride from alpha pinene. For that, we use dry HCl. What could happen here? Obviously, protonation of this double bond will happen and there will be a carbocation which will be followed by a rearrangement. Let us try to visualize the mechanism. The H plus will be picked up by the pi bond like this. We can show a curved arrow like this. And the new bond will, will be between this carbon and this hydrogen. That means a positive charge will be on this carbon. The positive charge here results in a tertiary carbocation while a positive charge here would will result in a secondary carbocation basically this follows markovnikov's addition and more stable carbocation formed so we have our carbocation now a rearrangement will happen which will be facilitated with a cl minus so let us see the mechanism cl minus attacks this carbon while this bond breaks and rearrange cl minus attacks this carbon while this bond breaks and this carbon forms a bond with this carbocation let us copy down the whole thing and try to make sense of the curved arrows so there is going to be a new bond between this carbon and this chlorine so there is no negative charge on chlorine now and okay now this bond is no longer here this breaks and this will forms this will form a bond with this carbon and the positive charge is no longer there okay so we have okay the minus charge is also not there now what now we have got the product this is boronyl chloride so alpha pinene on reaction with the hcl dry hcl we get boronyl chloride boronyl chloride on reaction with aniline produces boronyl aniline this could simply be an SN2 reaction simply Cl minus leaves as this part is crowded the attack actually comes from the other part and uh, the product is actually isobornyl aniline not this one Okay. so isobornyl aniline is formed and this on heating with sulfur produces a double bond here notice that there is a hydrogen here sorry so heating with sulfur results in dehydrogenation this is known as camphor anil and this on upon hydrolysis with the aqueous acid produces camphor so the cn double bond hydrolyzes and we get a ketone here or we get our product camphor so let us go over this reaction once again this synthesis once again alpha pinene on treatment with the dry hcl produces boronyl chloride Now, which on treatment with uh, aniline produces isobornyl aniline? Which on treatment with heating with the sulfur produces this boronyl anil? Which on hydrolysis with the aqueous acid produces camphor? Thank you and have a good day.